Hey yo! Welcome to another tutorial. So today I will show you how to do this transition. But before we start you must subscribe and like the video. Or I will hit you with ultimate sandal 30 plus plus. And if you still didn't do that, So this is what we are doing today. Also if you want to learn how to do a background like the one showed in the edit check by 3D grid background tutorial link in the description. So like always get your clips ready and follow me. First thing pre-compose both clips. Don't forget to enable the motion blur. Now create a camera. Then create a new adjustment layer and duplicate it three times by pressing Ctrl D on the keyboard. Make all of them 3D. Both clips too. Now parent the camera to the first adjustment and the first to the second one and so on. I am gonna start by a simple zoom out animation. Now select the second clip and set keyframe for the position, the scale, the Z rotation and the opacity. Follow me. Change the scale to like 20. Then drag the clips to the right and a little bit to the up. Change the Z rotation to 30. And the opacity to 0. Go to the end of the first clips and reset all keyframes. Select the keyframes and easy ease them. Open the speed graph then follow me. Don't forget to add motion tile to both clips. We are gonna do the split screen of the clip inside of the comp. So double click on the second clip. Before you start activate the proportional grid that will help you later. Now select the clips and do a mask like me. Duplicate the layer. Press M two times and check the inverted box. Now let's animate the position of both clips. Follow me. Easy ease the keyframes and follow my graph. Also enable motion blur for both layers. Stay with me we are halfway now. Go back by one frame from the beat mark and set a keyframe for the position. Before animating the position create a new text layer. Make it 3D. Then change its Z position value so it behind the clip and drag to the left. Now go the next beat mark by one frame and zoom into the text until it fit the comp.
Easy ease the keyframes and open the speed graph and follow me. You can adjust the graph until you're satisfied with it. Go back from the next beat mark by one frame and set a position keyframe in the next adjustment layer. Then duplicate the text layer. Drag it back and to the right like I do. Now go the next beat mark by one frame and zoom into the text until it fit the comp. Select the keyframes and easy ease them. Open the speed graph and follow me. Don't forget to enable the motion blur for both text layers. Now for the last adjustment we are going to do a zoom out transition. So this is the result. You can still add shake to it to make it smoother. You may not get a good result at the first time but by adjusting it more you will get better one. Now all you need to do is trying to get the best result by adjusting the graph for example. So I hope you like the tutorial. See you on the next video.